Hey everyone, and welcome to the channel. Today, we're diving into the world of SoulSaver Online and exploring five awesome ways to make some serious gold. Whether you're a seasoned player or just starting out, these methods will help you build your in-game fortune and gear up for anything. The game throws your way. First, stop a character at L100 and farm equips at Tower of Fate gear up your level 100 character and head to the Tower of Fate map. Make sure you've equipped grade five full weapon, armor drop rate gems for clothing, hat, cape, face upper, and face lower. These will maximize your equipment drops. Recommended classes. Swordsman, Blade, Assassin, Glove, Magi, Staff, Mamluk, Glove. Dominate those drops. Target Trans Blazing Ents or Trans Shadow Slimes. They have a high chance of dropping valuable equipment. Keep farming and collecting this equipment until your inventory is full, then sell your loot. Tower of Fate Bonus. Tip. Equip the Tower of Fate Earring for an extra boost to your physical and magic attack power. Maximize your efficiency. Here are some additional tips to supercharge your farming. Use consumables like Green Card Slip, Blue Card Slip, Phantom Purple, Mysterious Energy, and Yellow Phantom Gold for drop rate buff. Join a sect with the full badge set to benefit from their increased drop rate buff. Estimated earnings. With dedication, you can expect to earn around 300,000 thousand gold per day using this method. Second, Yangok Challenge. Feeling extra adventurous? Yangok offers a chance to score some truly epic rewards. Requirements, level 120, 185 character. The goal, aim to reach the top seven in the Yangak rankings. This will grant you valuable silver and gold chests, plus a Yangak chest filled with limit 12 and limit 13 equipment chests. The higher you rank, especially reaching top one for the gold chest, the more valuable the rewards. Yangak tips. The Yangak system favors classes with high target limits per skill. Consider playing Mamluk, Archer, or Mage Maggie for an advantage. To boost your ranking potential, farm grudge fruits at Dakibi and craft grudge beads for max fury. Max out your Tewa and fury skills for maximum damage. Forming a party with a diverse set of character buffs. Swordsman for attack. Assassin for evasion rate. Archer, buff to view HP of monsters in Yangak. Mage, Maggie, defense buff. Janissary, Spearman, HP buff. Will significantly enhance your score. Yangak earnings potential. Gold Taiwa chest, 300,000 thousand. 350,000 thousand, gold silver. Taiwa chest, 30,000 thousand. 45,000 thousand, gold. Yangak chest, limit 12 equipped chests, 50,000 thousand, 100,000 thousand gold. Yangak chest, limit 13 equipped chests, 240,000 thousand, 550,000 thousand gold, depending on level and type. Yangak chest, gold guard equips, 2,000 thousand thousand, 10,000 thousand thousand gold, extremely rare. Remember, market prices can fluctuate, so check often. Tokens of Strife. Tokens of Strife are a special currency you can earn in-game through various activities related to conflict and competition. Here's how to get them. Daily Quests in the Netherworld. Completing daily quests in the Netherworld can reward you with Tokens of Strife. 10 Minute War requires at least one point. Participating in the 10 Minute War and earning at least one point will grant you Tokens of Strife. Faction War requires at least one point Contributing to your faction's victory in the faction war by earning at least one point will reward you with tokens of strife. Dual Tournament. Every Sunday. Participating in the dual tournament held every Sunday is another way to earn tokens of strife. By engaging in these activities, you can stock up on tokens of strife and use them for various in-game purposes. Esther, amount of gold. Polish, your 2,000 thousand thousand 2M, 4,000 thousand 4M. Hard Lantern Nawi, 15,000, thousand, 50M, 35,000, thousand, 45 melon. Do note that market price may fluctuate. Please check market often to see price changes. Four, sell cash. Requires spending real money, but is the quickest way to make gold. This option allows you to directly acquire gold using a special in-game currency, cash. It's the fastest way to get gold, but keep in mind it requires obtaining this special currency first. Exchange rate. 
1,000 cash, Bracker 88,000 thousand gold, 88 minier. Since this method involves a special currency, here are some alternative ways to earn gold through player interaction. Analyze the market. Study what items players frequently buy and sell on the trading house, auction house. This will help you identify profitable opportunities to sell items you acquire in-game. A popular item that players often seek is a new weapon decoration. Consider acquiring and selling these if you find them. By understanding the player marketplace, you can earn gold without directly using the special currency. 5. Grind Monsters Grind monsters efficiently. Focus on areas with high monster density and monsters you can defeat quickly. Consider forming parties for faster clears. Sell loot. Many monsters drop valuable equipment or materials you can sell to other players through the trading system or personal shop. Complete quests. Quests often reward gold alongside experience points. Gather and sell resources. Like mining or fishing, selling those resources can be a steady income stream. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this guide, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more Soul Saver online content and other awesome gaming guides. Until next time, happy monster collecting!